Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Mike. Um, I'm making another video today about some uh, colognes that I have and uh, some that I recently picked up. And um, today is uh, Saturday. I think today's the uh, the 27th of February. Um, I think there's usually there's 28 or 29 days. I think on a leap year, I think it's 29 days. You know. And. Uh, well, the, the, the clones I'm going to be doing a uh, review about today are, the bottle's kind of dirty a little bit. It's a uh, Mont Blanc Explorer. And um, what I get out of this is that, you know, I, I get the Bergamot. Yeah, I'm going to do this side because this, this side's dirty. I get I get the Bergamot. I get the, uh, like the, uh, the vetiver, like the, uh, like the earthy smell. Some people say they smell uh, leather, and um, I kind of get that a little bit at, at the end, sort of. <clears throat> this is a this is a good uh, cologne. This is this is my fourth bottle. You know, every single bottle that I've had, I, I always give it to my brother because he likes wearing it. You know, but like recently when I've been wearing um, Creed Aventus, it's like it's just the birch. It's just I don't I don't like smelling that, and this doesn't really have that birchy smell in it. You know, I don't know. I mean, I used to like it, but now it's like I don't, I don't really like it as much. Any, 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 any I can't even. I'm stuttering. <laughs> I left a lot. I, I don't really like that smell anymore. But with the uh, birch, and um, you know, and uh, the creative, the yeah, the Mont Blanc Explorer is like, is like the designer um, take on um, on Creed Aventus. You know, I think they did a, a wonderful job. You know, this is this is the cap. You know, it's like a star, I guess. So that's like their emblem. You know, in the middle, in the inside, it's that's what it looks like. You know, it's a, it's it's pretty it's pretty it's pretty heavy. You know, it's uh, made out of glass or like glass in the middle, like some hard plastic glass. And on the outside, it's like metal. You know. And um, here I give I I spray a few sprays. Here, let's see how I do this. And um, I'm going to spray on my arm so I can remember what it smells like. And um, yeah, it's like you get that, you get that Aventus vibe, like, like, uh, like pineapple. It does have some sort of uh, pineapple in it. That's like, uh, how do I say it? That's like synthetic, you know, that's in like, I forgot what it said, but Steven from uh, Red Adolescence, he said there's some sort of molecule or, or substance that's in it, that's in even in Creed Aventus, and that's in like uh, Club de Nuit by Armoff, you know. But it gives like that pineapple, that pineapple like smell in the beginning, you know. And um, right now I'm getting like a heavy, heavy bergamot, you know, heavy uh, citrus, you know, like pineapple, apple. I don't think apple's in it. And um, you know, and um, and that is for. Um, Mont Blanc Explorer, and the next one I'm gonna do is, uh, and these and these are all great for uh, springtime. You know, the next one I'm gonna do is by uh, Dolce Gabbana. It came out about two years ago, maybe a little more than that, or about two years, and um, it's it's a king. You know, it's K for king, but I got the EDT of of it. You know, it's about half, a little more than half left. You know. And like when I first smelled this, it was like it, it, it was it was okay. But like recently, like when I do smell it, it has like a, a different smell than what I'm than what I'm used to. Like you know, you pick up with juniper berry in this, uh, you pick up like earthy smells. You know, it's a really nice uh, cologne. You know, but if, if if you have the EDT already, I would say don't get the EDP because it's just it's just I mean it's fuller. But if you don't have either, get the EDP, you know, because it's more, it's more fuller, but I don't really don't see the difference. I, I don't, I don't, I think it's redundant buy if you get the EDP, you know, and, um, and I have, where's that? And this is the, uh, I got this in today, the, uh, uh, K, K E D P. And, um, here, let me, let me spray it on. I'll tell you what I what, what I get from it. All right, sprayed it on. 
And as I smell it, it's like, it's reminiscent of, of the EDT, but just more fuller, you know? I think I'm picking up maybe like a, I don't know if it's like a patchouli I'm picking up maybe, but it's, uh, you know, I'm picking up some sort of like, uh, like citrus in the, in the beginning. I don't know if it's bergamot or lemon, maybe even orange. But, uh, yeah, like I was saying, you know, I wouldn't, I wouldn't get the EDP if you have the EDT. Or unless you can find a really good price on the EDP, then it's worth it. But never pay retail. You know, one thing, I'm not hyping this place, but go to Mer Mercari, M-E-R-C-A-R-I, Mercari, and they give really good discounts. You gotta, you gotta be careful. But even if you do buy uh, something that, that you think what it is and it, is, it gets delivered and it's not what you want, you can always get your money back. You know, that's what they guarantee. So, I mean, since I've been on there, I've, I've gotten maybe, I've gotten such good deals. I've gotten um, um, Armani Code uh, Absolute, a 6.7. Altogether, tax shipping everything for like 55 bucks. And that thing goes retail for 170 plus in Macy's. You know, I've gotten the 3.4 ounce EDP of Chanel Blue, Blue de Chanel, for like altogether like 60, 70 bucks. And I got um, for about 80 with shipping. I got the uh, a 3.4 ounce Alert um, Chanel Alert Ohm Extreme Ohm, Ohm Sport, um, Chanel Alert Sport Ohm Extreme. <laughs> yeah, that one. And um, you know, and today's a it's a nice day outside. You know, I just I just figured that maybe I would come outside and just do a uh, and just do a review about some uh, colognes and stuff. And I and I have the last one is. Uh, Terry D. Hermes. And um, a lot of people say it's like a dirty orange. You know, it's like an earthy, earthy orange. But it's very, it's a very classy smell, you know. It's it's a very good smell. And when, and when you get it, it's like, you know, it's like classy in like, in like a way. And, um, you know, I would I would say, you know, uh, sample it for yourself. You know, it's, uh, it's, it's, it's worth trying. At least trying. And, um, and pretty much, you know, just my birthday is on, is on Tuesday. So I'm going to be getting a uh, new cologne. I really don't know what cologne to get. I thought I want, I bought two samples of, uh, Terry Armez and, uh, and the KEDP. I'll just see maybe if I really liked them, I'd buy the full bottle, but I don't think I'm going to buy the, buy the full bottle of either. You know, I really don't know what kind of cologne to get next. But uh, I was thinking maybe a Chanel, um, a share, a Chanel Allure um, Edition Blanche. But when I got, I had a two mil of it, and um, it was just so weak, I couldn't even smell it. You know, I don't want to get stuck. I, I probably got, um, I could probably get um, um, a carry a one point seven for like seventy, eighty bucks. But it goes on Chanel for ninety seven for the one point seven, and for the three point four is one hundred and twenty seven or one hundred, one hundred and twenty eight, I uh, believe, and. Um, you know, I would like to uh, get get some more um, of Kevin's of his uh, fragrances. You know, whatever whatever he, whatever he's working on, especially the uh, King of the '90s, because the King of Kings, the Aventus clone, that thing is that thing is a banger. Oh man, I really like that. You know, between that and Dua fragrances, um, Poseidon's Elixir 2.0, it's like some days I like the Elixir. But most of the time, I, I'm in favor of Kevin, you know, because he did a phenomenal job on making that cologne, you know. And um, so that's about it, guys. And um, I'll talk to you guys later. I'll make another video. All right. Bye.